Hello and welcome back to Planet Crafter, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sponge, uh, and welcome back to the labyrinth. Uh, the sun is about to go down, so I figured it was the perfect time to start recording, as is tradition on my channel. Start videos in the dark, of course. Um, yeah, so the labyrinth last episode, I was looting that ship, and uh, we we're about to make our way across that gantry there onto the shelves of the labyrinth so there are kind of two levels of the ground floor and then there's the sort of shelves that kind of go around we're after super alloy now just looting the ground around here there's lots of aluminium there's lots of chests and stuff like that i did find a gold chest but just before i started recording here uh while i was exploring the ground level just over here just sort of opposite direction to where i built my little hut it's a brilliant time to show you isn't it <laughs> <laughs> it's just over here guys um wait was it <laughs> i can't tell anymore uh yeah i think it was just over here basically um in around here it's obviously been de deconstructed but uh yeah gold crate basically as far as you can walk opposite where i placed my heart in the dark great well done well done sponge well done show them show them the beauty of the game that's it <laughs> Anyway, um, so as a result, we got a gold crate there. We got a bunch of blue crates on the floor there, meaning that our lockers are looking pretty stuffed right now. That's the first one full of all the aluminium, uranium, uh, bits of iridium that we found. There's another one. Also, some super alloy uranium, iridium. There's a golden effigy here of the little crash pod. Love that. Uh, another 600% seed. Big win. A rocket engine. Also, big win. Uh, and a blueprint microchip there. And then we've got this one, which is super alloy and aluminium. Another blueprint chip, bunch of fabric, and you can you can see you can see for yourself. Uh, and some bean seeds. We haven't had beans before, so that'll be fun. And finally, another um, uh, chip, some super alloy and stuff as well. So already we've got some decent super alloy there. But um, what I like to do is get myself to uh, enough super alloy. Then I will do the back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, running back and forth in order to uh, take it all back to my warehouse. From there, we'll do a bunch of building as as we have been done doing so far. Uh, so let's get back up there. Let's go across the gantry. I want to show you guys uh, what the top part of the labyrinth looks like. It's not too difficult to navigate this area. I mean, it is called the labyrinth and, you know, you can get lost, but it's so small that, you know, you keep walking, you'll end up finding your way around. No problem. So I don't really see it as somewhere you can get lost. I um, hmm. I was just thinking I might actually bring some iron up here. The there are some bridges across you can use, but uh, it'll be useful to take a couple of bits of iron just so I can build some gantries, uh, some sort of, sort of walkways in case I do need to get across. I think I needed that last time. So a bit of iron with us. I've emptied this place out now. There shouldn't be anything left in here for us to loot. So this is where we got all the microchips and stuff like that. All the crates are gone. Everything that could be picked up is picked up. And then we go across here. And then we should start finding some super alloy. There's some over there, as you can see. Now I'll um, explore the bits that I can for now. And then we will start building walkways across where we run out of path, basically. So there we go. Bit of super alloy there. And there is, there's a lot of it up here, but you know, you should be able to make that jump there. There's a gantry that goes over, but I like to be fairly sort of methodical about this sort of area. So I'll try and walk around the areas that I can before using gantries, before using extra walkways. And I'll sort of do a sort of zigzaggy pattern, search pattern as it were. So we're back to the beginning now, we'll loop round and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it. Now, there is, uh, as we just saw back there, a crate up here. There are crates up here. There are also a golden crate up here somewhere. Um, so there are actually, I think, two gold crates. And correct me if I'm wrong about this now. My information may be out of date. I believe there are two golden crates in the labyrinth. I don't think there are more. So that gap there, I think, is slightly too big to jump across. So I would need a, a, a walkway get over there but let's continue around to see it maybe there's a way to jump across over here instead and at some point i'm gonna to have to obviously unload my inventory we can jump over here as well i don't want to go that further anymore let's try and head back towards the pod now there's a big sort of open area here isn't there uh i got three bottles of oxygen so we'll head back on our last bottle 
pick up a bunch of cobalt, make a few more bo oxygen bottles when we get back. There's some alloy and uh, it's aluminium, sorry, and super alloy up here for days. Look at all this. It's beautiful. So yeah, this is really where you want to come. Stock up on as much super alloy as you can. After all, it is quite expensive to make on your own. I suppose until you get the auto miners and stuff, this whole area here is new. That, that leads up to the ravine that we saw last episode, I think. And then we got the alloy, uh, the aluminium area over there. It's kind of spooky, that area. Yeah, it's all misty and weird. <laughs> the sort of area you expect these weird spiders to come out and grab you. Um, fortunately, they don't. Don't worry, they don't. But, uh, you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a surprise if they did. If you know what I mean, just looking at the area, it looks like ripe for spiders. And there's my little base down there. Look, you can see quite a lot from up here, can't you? Good view. Very good view. Unfortunately, you can't build on these fucking rocks. Hmm. Need you games piece fix, right? Uh, right. There is a golden crate around here somewhere. I'm almost certain of it. Um, I thought it was on here, around here, but maybe my memory is faded. It was so long ago that I played Planet Crafter last time, but I did get, at the time, there were seven gold crates, I believe. Now there are twelve, or something like that, anyway. So, you know, <laughs> um, possibly it, they've moved them, you know, I don't know. Oh, nice glitch through the old terrain there. We'll, we'll, we'll accept, we'll accept that. I'm wondering, jumping down there and going across there, possibly, I want to get, like, I think I can make this. Ooh, yeah, nailed it. Now then, I'm positioned here where I'm like, where was that crate that we saw? There was a crate that we saw, wasn't it? Couldn't jump over. Mm, I think it was on that side there, wasn't it? <laughs> this is this is where the labyrinth gets you. When you're trying to find your way back to things, there's that crate. Look. Oh, that, that's a different crate. Oh, look, how convenient. We're going to have to head back anyway, because my inventory is full. You. Let's have a look inside the crate. Oh, nearly fell off. Everything's fine. Uh, oh, a blueprint chip. Lovely. And um, I'll eat that. And then I'm in a super alloy there as well. We'll have to come back for the rest of that. And okay. So, yeah, let's get back. We're on full inventory. We're out of space, folks. Ugh. We've got to try and figure out the way back. And. I think it's this way and there we go well that in a nutshell is gents is the labyrinth so basically just run around these these cliffs and find everything so if i find the golden crate i will bring it to you its location i will share um otherwise i will see you guys in a little bit but for you it'll be like instant but for me it'll be like an hour <laughs> after i gathered as much super alloy as i can okay there we are so i have pretty much got all the um super alloy that i could find um out of this area pretty much just yeah just ravage the entire area and then take all the resources back to base is my methodology yeah uh but let's have a little look see shall we um there we go there's all that crate there's all of that crate that's that one as well each one has got a crap ton of super alloy in it <laughs> yeah more super alloy than we know what to do with uh, and there's that one as well. So huge haul of resources to uh, get back to base. I think I'll start with the super alloy and I'll start loading that up now. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to take several trips. going to take several trips. But I might do if I've got enough resources back at base is get the tier four, tier five backpack uh, because of the super alloy and stuff like that. Let's, uh, let's head back and see if that's possible. Uh, so yeah, the tier 4 backpack, sorry, yeah, that's 3 super alloy, the tier 3 and a titanium, bang, and bang, oh, beautiful, okay, more slots, we love more slots, so I think I've got, what, what tier uh, exoskeleton, we've got the tier 1 exoskeleton on, I think there's a tier 2 available now, there is, which requires aluminium, titanium, silicon, magnesium, uh, now I have to take the tier 1 exoskeleton off, which means I have to take a lot of this stuff off as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll get that as well. And then uh, we'll get the rest of the stuff back. Name myself the tier 4 oxygen tank as well. Bingo. 
370 seconds of air. That's nice. Uh, excellent. So the tier 2 agility boost now. Tier 4 oxygen tank. Tier 4 backpack. Tier 2 exoskeleton. Um, let's see if we can get the mining speed tier 3 as well. The mining speed tier 3... Nah, we need the aluminium for that. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll go get that. All right, well, we do have some blueprint chips. We've got four blueprint chips to go through. Let's see what we get. Torch T2. Wow, okay. A new flashlight. Shredder machine. Okay. Mapping. Ooh, exciting. GPS satellite one. Well, well, well. We may actually unlock a map, ladies and gents. That is interesting. Shows a map of the surrounding area. Hmm. The shredding machine destroys objects placed inside. Requires explosive powder. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Ew. 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 Or extractor is unlocked, guys. I missed that. That must have happened while I was off camera or AFK or something. Osmium uranium rod, super alloy, and titanium. We're going to have to get that. We're going to have to get that soon. Definitely. Oh my god, so much cool stuff is, is starting to unlock now. I am excited. Anyway, let's get some building done, shall we? First up, I declare this base Red Base. Next up, I want myself a bloody jetpack. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I'm flying, baby. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm fly. I'm sort of flying. I'm kind of falling now. Yeah. It's more of a hover. More of a lazy hover. Still, I point up. I go up. Ah, ah, ah. Uh oh. I only go up so far, apparently. Before I start falling again. <laughs> Still, that's kind of cool. And there we go. You can double tap space and you can kind of fly. You can kind of fly. But as you can see, I can't even get high enough to get on top of that rock. So it's like, uh, it's quite fast. I'll give you that. It's definitely quicker than running. That's for sure. Whee! We're flying, baby. This is awesome. Next up, how about we capture some of that rain with an atmospheric rain catchy thingy jiggy? I don't know how this works, but I'm assuming every now and again. It will um, fully quench my thirst. We'll have to check in later. Next up is one of these newfangled type auto miner type GB jobbies. Here we are. And I guess every now and again, gonna pop some iron in this box. I also unlock the automation achievement with that one. Now I'm guessing that when you place one of these in say, if we were to place one in that cave, we might get aluminium pouring out of it. Or... Maybe over there in the, what I call the spider weird fields. It might be aluminium as well. In the labyrinth, maybe it's super alloy. That would be nice. But uh, in the meantime, I guess we'll just leave it. And it should produce some iron. Maybe. Possibly. Now let's get some some grass growing around here. This would be lovely. We'll have some grass, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have grass there. Uh, we'll have some grass in the main sort of, like, you know, area here. It would look lovely. And then we'll have some grass maybe the other side of the, the living quarters here so that we have a nice view and have at least one of our vin windows rather than just, you know, nuclear activity. Oh, really? Really? Wow. <laughs> Two nuclear reactors. Three grass spreaders just killed it. <laughs> 404. Um, draw. Okay. Uh, well, that dictates our next step then. New nuclear reactor, everybody. Suck it. All the nuclear power. Yes. Excellent. Oh, it doesn't just give me iron. Oh, no. That's cobalt, iron, silicon. Oh, that's fantastic. So that is going to give me a slow trickle of all the basic resources by the look of it. I am a big fan. Next up, we're going full dio biodome madness here. All right. We are getting absolutely mental with it. Okay. We're going to have one there. I assume... We need to slap a door on it because it's basically just a normal base structure, right? Yeah. Hmm. So we need a door. Uh, okay. 
Such a shame. Such a shame. I uh, I don't know whether it's too low in the ground. Because, I mean, if I pull it off of that, you know, and try and attach it to the ground there, it's too low. But I would really like that to be able to snap on there. Um, I may just have to accept that. I wonder if it does it on the other side. I don't know. I've, I've built this into a ditch. But the problem is, have I got enough space? I don't think I do. Um... I don't think it will snap there either. I'd need to raise it up. Raise it up. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think there's enough. Can I not put that on the... Wow. Okay. I need to demolish that. Raise it up a bit. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I put in my inventory here. To build the stuff. More of the stuff I need to get rid of. Just temporarily. Then delete this. Rebuild it slightly higher like off the ground kind of higher like that grab all that shit again what I'm trying to do here I was hoping to show you guys before but what I want to do is build and then another one right next to it I don't know if there's going to be enough room here damn it I don't know if there's going to be enough room but No, I think I'm going to need another one of these and then another rounded one. And then put a door in one of these. Okay. Ambitious plans. <laughs> Pointless, ambitious plans. It's what I do. And there we go. Pointlessly complicated build projects for no reason whatsoever. Other than they're just fun. <laughs> it's just fun, guys. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Biomass, 32. Oh my god! Oh wow! I did not see this coming at all. Look at this. Butterfly chevron lava. What? Plants and insects. What? Flower spreader T2, food grower T2, plants, rocket, algae generator, bio lab, heater tier 5. Wow! Insect spreader rocket drill tier 5. Holy moly, that is, that is, that is new, that is, that is new, <laughs> I am completely in early, I did not see that coming at all, oh my god dude, there's a tier 3 ore extractor, I need to explore nuclear fusion, drill tier 4, biodome tier 2, algae generators, what is that, flower pot, <laughs> stating, tier 4, tree spreaders, tree spreaders, Tier 5 backpacks, lake water collector, screen biomass, screen orbital nonsense. I super alloy rod. <laughs> Air filter produces oxygen consumption depending on the terraformation level. Nice. Auto crafter. Automatically craft the chosen recipe if the ingredients are found in certain range, either in storage or directly in the world. Incubator. Use this to increase the insects with lava and mutagen mutations can create different lava with the same recipe. Some mutations have to be discovered. What? Teleporters. Free spreaders tier 3. This just... Pulsar quartz. Tremendous amounts of energy. That's probably what goes into the uh, the fusion reactor on the ship. Or a cell of nuclear fusion. That might also be what goes in the ship. Oh my lord. I should have explored this like from the beginning, but my god, this is incredible. Wow. Incredible stuff. Okay, I probably should get some screens like the... I should get a radar dish here um, and a transmission screen because I'm pretty sure I've had another transmission by now. Uh, but yeah, that's... I did not think that the biodome was quite so... Uh important necessarily to the it makes sense now thinking about it but you, you know what i mean like the whole kind of unlock process grass guys grass grass is happening we are getting grass it is fantastic All right i want um desks and screens and such over here i want this to be a little control room of stuff All right i need more iron yeah there we go there we go that's a bit better. No satellite in orbit. Send a mapping rocket in space to receive signal. Okie dokie. 
So we need the launch pad next then. Terraformation stage though. Apparently we're at uh, we're at liquid water now. So we should start to see um, pools of water start arriving. And then the next stage is lakes, which we're only 2.42% towards. Uh, so we really need to ramp up terraformation like again. Our pressure is good. Biomass is going. Heat and oxygen are climbing, albeit slowly. Now we have got a couple of 600% um, seeds. Let's first of all, let's see if we can get our rocket pad. Uh, we need to put that somewhere around here. I'm thinking hmm, maybe actually the other side of the warehouse might be a good idea. Getting a bit lumpy over here though. That's the only problem. Maybe that space there would be good for the rocket launch pad. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that in. That's a big thing. Three super alloys, three titaniums and three irons. Well, we've got the super alloys. We've got the titaniums. And we got the iron, but just, only just. We're going to need to go out and do a lot of resource farming soon. Here it is, though. Oh, my Lord, it is mahusive. It, I knew it was big. I remember it being mahusive, but, um, yeah, there we go. That was going to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gents, we are out of power. Damn it. Um, we're going to need a, another nuclear reactor again. What have we got here? We are trying to draw 565 kilowatts to our 543 kilowatts of power. Damn. So, yeah. Here we go. We need another 20 kilowatts. What do these things give us? Just under 20. Hmm. That might be easier. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. The uranium rod, if I remember correctly, is basically all the uranium. It's nine uranium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, we can do it. We can do it. We can get another nuke. The only problem is, is like I don't have necessarily the uh, uh, the area I want to put it in because I have built my little nukes around this area. So I'm gonna have to build another area for my nukes incoming meteor shower interesting timing oh boy well actually that's kind of good because right now i'm short on resources anyway so it's a nice sort of clear and flat area for these meteors to land and for me to mop up any iron that they might drop among other things of course uh so lots of the silicon and titanium here. Ah, oh, come on. One of you guys got to drop iron. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll wait until they've finished depositing, shall we say. Um, and then I think what I might do is build my nuclear power plants behind my water generators again. I might, what I might do is just build, start building a platform over here. Here will do place a nuclear power plant on it and then build around it once it's finished so it's going to look a bit silly for a while just having a nuclear power plant just out there chilling but there we go all right well thanks for all the resources hey watch the freaking biodome yeah they make me come up there i will slap you boom Successful depositation of resources. Excellent. Oh, new blueprint received. Bio lab. Um, bio lab. Biology and chemistry lab allows craft of bio recipes, obs osmium, super alloys, and aluminiums, which I have all of those things, but they re it requires forty energies. 40 energies, my god. Right, we really need like a T2 nuclear power plant at this level because I need 40 energies. I've got 60 available. This doesn't give me a lot of like wiggle room for rockets and such. Uh, right, speaking of which, rockets and such. Let's have a little look see up our rocket tower here. And we can build the GPS satellite rocket, the magnetic field protection rocket. Attracts iridium asteroids, gives a global generation bonus by protecting the magnetic field. Pressure multiplier, 1000%. Um, and a asteroid attract. Attracts uranium asteroids, give global heat generation as well. 
So, yeah. We need, you're going to need three rockets in order to get all three of these off the ground. Which is two, four, six super alloys. And whatever it costs to make a rocket. Okay. All right, I'm going to mop some stuff up here. And um, refill my warehouse a little bit, I think. Okay, anyway. So, first of all, I've got one, two, three golden seeds here. So, you know, each one of these is 600% oxygen multiplier. So let's go and plant some seeds, shall we? Uh, we've got T3 veg tubes here. I'm going to place one here. And I'm going to use them like, like plant pots outside my little biodome here. I'm going to slap these bad boys in there like that. And then, uh, I don't know, where should we put the other one? Outside our living quarters, I feel, would be good. Like right here. I'm going to spread them out like little plant pots. It'll be fine. There we go. That should be increasing our oxygen production quite significantly once it gets uh, once it gets going. Although I'm looking at the oxygen thing and it's like completely stationary right now. It's not even going up one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, there we go. There's a lot more oxygen generation, at least anyway. Plus 78 parts per cube. <laughs> Quintillion. <laughs> Who knows? BBQ. Uh, makes sense, sure. I have no idea what you're talking about, but there we go. Uh, so that's oxygen, at least for a while. Now, we've only got tier 3 heaters. We haven't unlocked tier 4 heaters. That unlocks at 63 ppb. Um, yeah, so we're at 2.34 ppb. I think we're a little ways off of uh, T4 heaters. Just a tad. Wow. Like, really, really off. <laughs> All right, let's continue to ramp up the oxygen generation then, I guess. More T3 vent tubes. Just slap them everywhere. Um, all right, how many seeds have I got? Because, yeah, I've got quite a few 300 percenters, like, so seven 300 percenters and five 200 percenters. And then a bunch of, uh, a bunch of the standard ones, I guess. Okay, so maybe we can get, if we can get seven more T2 veg, uh, T3 veg tubes, that'd be great. But these aren't exactly cheap. Okay. I'll do them a little bit at a time. I'm going to need yet another nuclear reactor for all these veg tubes. And a water bottle, apparently. Please have a water bottle. Yay. Yeah, we're almost out of power again. <laughs> I really need T2 nuclear power plants. Okay. I'm out of uranium. That is the last uranium I have. So now I need to call in um, uranium. Need another bottle of water. Uh, uranium rockets. Uh, meteorites, sorry. I need to build a uranium rocket to call in uranium meteorites. Those are the words that I'm trying to say. Thank you, Brain, for catching up. Welcome along. And that's it. Okay, that is all the veg tubes I think we can do for now. But we've got one more 300% Nulna seed left after that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm grab a. F oh, I didn't mean to eat that. Grab food, grab a water. So I've got that on me. I did just unlock the tier five backpack and just dinged away. So let's go ahead and get that. We want one, two, three, and a titanium. But the backpacks aren't very expensive because you need to take them off in order to <laughs> upgrade them. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, how much does it, what does it take to create? Oh, crap. Okay, I need to find you more uranium, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, because I need a rocket engine to bring down more uranium meteorites. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. At least I can create a iridium rod. Yeah, no problem. All right, I think we're gonna have to go into the sand caves then. Yeah, that is over there. We would benefit probably from a little outpost in there as well. A little oxygen place. We should be able to get all the materials we need from in there, though. Let's do it. Nice weather. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this cave is full of aluminium and ir iridium. To be honest, I'm more interested in the crates that are in here uh, than the iridium or aluminium. Because, we, well, as I, just as I just shown you, we've got enough iridium um, to last us for a while. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean we can't pick up more. Uh, as for uranium, I'm not sure where we'd find that. Like, naturally on the map. Whether that's even thing naturally on the map, you know? 
Anyway, we'll start uh, with our little outpost as always, so that we can top up our oxygen. And then we'll do a little exploring around here, see if we can find some crates. There is, if I recall correctly, a gold crate somewhere in this uh, cavern. So I'll be keeping my eye out for that. But uh, what you see is pretty much it, to be honest, guys. It is a cave full of iridium. And uh, that's new. Actually, hold the phone. The ice has started melting, hasn't it? The ice has started melting, look. This is the other side of that big, yeah, misty crater. This is a box I had wired before, just not emptied. But well, well, that means that ice over there is melted as well then. Interesting, the ice is melting. Okay. Where's all the water gone? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Okay, that means that this cave has obviously changed then from last time I was here, which makes no, is no surprise. It probably means that the gold crate is probably not where it used to be. My guess. Um, so, if I find it, I'll let you know where it is. But there's one blue crate, at least. Bingo. There it is. Okay, so... I'm over here. The gold crate is behind this rock. And has no uranium in it. <laughs> you son of a bun. But it does have another 600 cedar, uh, seed in it, so... Yeah, uh, I can't be too upset with it, right? Um, but yeah, there we go. That's the gold crate in there. It is behind the rock, which is, I think is where it was before. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, hello. I think I just fell off. All right, we can spam space to get back up again. Oh yeah, and we have a we have a jetpack, don't we? There's uranium. Alrighty. Okay, we need a few more of those, please. Oh, we need to deconstruct. There we go. Ah, well, unfortunately, that appears to be it. Uh, the, the vast quantities of, uh, quantities of iridium, um, which I don't need just yet. There are no more crates in this. That's it. One up there, the blue one over there, and the gold one. Seems to be the lot. Um, so that's a shame. But we can come back here whenever we need iridium. And it might be worth putting an auto miner in here because it, I think we might get aluminium and iridium in here, uh, which would be a good be a good material to have all right well i'll head back to base offload that and then i think what we're going to do next episode is head over there into the dark area the creepy bits i don't quite like it over there it gets all creepy and weird and spooky and stuff but um that is the logical next step that is the logical next step i suppose you know we could probably head there's a there's a ravine that goes up past the uh the valley there look at that we're starting to get water <laughs> trying to get water up here in the valley there we could go up that ravine that leads somewhere as well and uh, there's also the big gorge over there we haven't explored yet either but that's the logical next step that's what we're going to do next episode uh, in the hope that we can get some iridium uh, sorry uranium and the hope that we can build rocket engines we need one more <laughs> iridium uh, uranium god damn I keep getting that wrong for a rocket engine and we can most possibly send up something that will attract more uranium down so um that's that okay mm, well one uranium it's a start that is all we have time for ladies and gents thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you next time till then take care Bye bye